What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast here, and today, welcome back to some more Zenith VR on the channel. And before you think this is another series episode, let me tell you, this is something that is beyond crazier than a series upload. What we're going to be covering today is we're going to be going over the upcoming updates of Zenith. And this is something that I've been excited just to, like, talk about on the channel because this is something that's going to change Zenith forever. Like, this isn't just, like, your ordinary, like, minor update that you're going to be getting to the game. This is going to be something that is very substantial to the future of where this game goes. And, like, implementing these features are seriously going to change how Zenith will be experienced by a lot of people. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video and would like to see more content made on Zenith, then be sure to let me know by dropping a comment down in the comment section below. Those are my Armageddons. Hello and goodbye. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time we go and hop into this video. Spellcasting feels good, no? Oh my god, the... No! No! Shut up! <laughs> Yo! Okay, I didn't even know that was in the game. So as you guys can already tell, there is one thing that I am beyond excited about, and what that is, is the reworked physics that will be coming to the game eventually in a future update. I can't really elaborate when, I can't really elaborate, like, what the entire update's gonna be about. You're just gonna have to wait and see once this thing actually does come to Zenith. And I just gotta say, flat out, just having reworked physics where I can go and catch my fireball again, and even my arm, like, reacts to the fireball landing back on my hand, that's already gonna make this so much more immersive. And, like, I feel like that's gonna be a world of a change for a lot of players within the world of Zenith, man. Like, this is something that's... It's been needing work for so long. Like, this is seriously something that... I, I didn't expect to come so soon, but the fact that it's already here, and it's so solid. Like, as you guys just saw there, my fireball literally bounced off my finger, which I wonder... Can I actually do this? Doing. Oh. <gasps> Wait. If this can interact with my hands, can this also interact with my foot? Oh, bro. This is my first time actually seeing how this all works, so hopefully this actually bounces off my foot. No, does it go through? Don't. I want to juggle my fireball. No, <laughs> it goes to the foot. Oh, pain. Dude, honestly, I would have dreamed of being able to spawn a fireball and juggle it. Like, can you imagine juggling with your feet, catching the fireball and chucking it at enemies? Like, that would be insane. Oh, and it looks like for some reason they actually don't disappear at the moment. <laughs> so now I just got double fireballs. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. But... Also, keep in mind, this is an early build. Obviously enough, there's going to be bugs like this that you see within this. But this is just, like, the proof of concept of it being in the game already. Like, they have it in the works. And this is, like, no small feat. When it comes down to reworking your entire physics within a game, that's, like, basically saying, like, blade and sorcery going out of their way and changing everything about how, like, the swords feel or, like, the magic feels and stuff like that. Like, going ahead and making a change like that is very substantial in everything any game for matter and let alone being in the vr field i i wish the best of luck to ramen and so far it already seems like you guys are on the right direction for the combat because this is this is something i've been wanting for so freaking long and like it just makes it so much better and more realistic to play in the game and be able to hold this object and it actually feels like you're holding it you know what I mean? Compared to before, the hands just used to kind of look like this, and this is how you'd be holding the fireball, you know? Like, literally your hand would be flat, and you just go, whoop, and it just kind of, like, tosses it, you know? But now, we actually have it where our hands interact with these objects within the world, which I absolutely freaking love. Oh, and I dropped my fireball, no! Come back here, you're mine. But also, another thing that's gonna be coming to this update is the added support of full finger tracking. This is also something that I've... Like, really been wondering when they were actually going to go and add it within the game, but I was pleasantly surprised once I hopped into, like, this private build when I actually was able to go and move my little phalanges on my hand, man. Like, this already just, it adds so much more to the social factors of Zenith. You know, like, don't get me wrong, like, Zenith's, like, main concept is being an MMO, but one of the beautiful things about, like, a massive multiplayer online game is the, the social aspects. And I feel like, especially when you're, like, communicating with other players or whatever else, anything that can help make it more realistic and more believable that you're actually there adds a huge amount to the social side of a game like this. And just as simple as having the motions with the fingers here, 
it's gonna be a world of a change, man. Like, I can actually go and do, like, you know, whatever poses with these, or I can do, like, rock outs and whatever else, and they're not, like, just certain gestures that you have to hit with your buttons. Like, this is, this is something I'm actually doing in my setup, and it's just, I don't know. I, I think it's cool. I mean, some people might not think it's cool, but I personally think it's super, super huge. I mean, going along with full body tracking, full finger tracking, and then now the new physics, like, I have high expectations for, like, the future of Zenith. Like, I've been a believer in the vision for a very long time, and there's a reason why I committed to making a series on the game, because I truly just care about the direction of where this goes, and, like, I saw the entire, like, I saw the vision when I first hopped in. Even back in Alpha, like, this area here, Fractured Plains, also known as, uh, Galleon Plains, for the originals out there, this was just... This was something else when I first spawned in here and I was just like meeting new people and figuring out like what and where to go and I just there's so many memories that were made here and it's crazy to think like back in Alpha I'll go and show some of the Alpha 1 footage of this location to where it is now. They have done so much work graphically like I can't even I can't even speak and let alone the map size. It is freaking ridiculous how large this entire thing is like before back in alpha we literally only had up till i think about mountain highlands i want to say that was the last place that we could actually go was mountain highlands so like they've already added all these other locations from alpha man like that is just that's bonkers also another great factor that they added within the game and this is probably my favorite by far is the rework of the combat i'm sure you guys have seen a little bit of clips here and there but truly it feels so much better than what it looks like. Like, seriously, if I want to go as a mage, by the way, because I'm not on my Blade Master, I can go and dash right to the side and directional. So I can go right, left, back, and then I can even go up if I actually do this right. Let's see if I can actually... There we go. Yeah, so you can jump up and dash while you're in midair, which is just so cool, man. Like, I don't know how to explain the feeling of being able to get in a fight and just, like, quickly dash to the side, dash to the right, and add that into your, like, momentum of fighting. It's just, ugh, this is something that should have been in the game on launch, but I I'm happy it's here, but I wish this was on launch. Like, it would have been so crazy to go through, like, the entire story with the reworked mechanics. I can literally sit here for hours just doing, like, little anime poses and dashes while I'm trying to go and dodge enemies. Like, this adds a whole new layer. To like just how you experience Zenith and like I'm sure you could probably tell in my voice I I'm literally just smiling like I I love this it's it's so nice and refreshing to see a meaningful update for the promising future of this game like don't get me wrong I've always believed in the vision of Zenith but one of the things that I felt like was truly lacking in the game was the meaningful updates and like just to be completely real like don't get me wrong like the team's working hard to make what they're making but it just felt like for a while there, we weren't really seeing a lot of progress being made. And I mean, that's that's not to knock anything that's like behind the scenes what the team is actually working on because it's hard to know exactly what, you know, exactly what they have on their agenda and what they're planning to add into the game. But as for an update like this, like, I wish this would have been hyped up like throughout the months. You know what I mean? Like, I wish there was just, like, little small hints dropped here and there to keep us excited and, like, you know, something to look forward to and expect and whatever else. Like, keeping your, you know, your community up to date so they understand, like, these things are coming, I feel like is a big part, especially when it comes down to a VR community. Because when it comes down to a VR MMO, you know, you grind from level 1 to max level, and then you do some of your side quests and raids and whatever else, and then basically once you got what you want, there's really nothing else to do other than just, like, chat with people. But with this update and also the Cyber Ninja coming as well, like, I think this is going to be a really fresh start for a lot of the players that took a big break in between, like, the launch window and now. Like, this is, this is a great step in the right direction, guys. Like, huge shout out to Ramen for making this, you know, making this possible, man. Because, like, even just these physics, I know it's very rough at the moment, but, I mean, it's pretty dang responsive for the state that it's in, man. Like... Don't get me wrong, like, you can see the fireball is still, like, you know, loaded in on the map and whatever else, but that's going to be fixed by, you know, by the update time. I I'm sure that that's going to be polished up and whatever else. This is just an early state of what's to come. Now, onto the fun stuff, guys. This is something that I have been looking forward to for so long within Zenith, and what this is, is the new climbing mechanics that they're adding within the game. This is so nice, and also even just, like, the, uh, the clipping of certain objects and such, like, they actually have inner actables now where like your hand collides with the world which is so 
freaking nice. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember the frustrating days of going and climbing the mountains or like some of the Zenith City buildings or whatever else. Like climbing was so frustrating because you didn't know where the grab points actually were. Like a lot of the time your hand would clip through the wall or you would get like a weird grab point, whatever else. But now we actually have it where our hands have physical grab points. Like, obviously, you know, you're gonna have some hand clipping here and there, but for the most part, like, this actually has, like, a responsive, like, grip point. Like, you're not gonna fling off of this thing when you actually grab it, which is so nice. And also, like you guys just saw there, we have climbing physics. Not just mechanics, where, like, you clip onto the, you know, physical objects, but actual physics, where you can throw yourself off of objects and use that for momentum within whatever ways you want to, which this is what I have been like, is I've been itching to say for so long. Like I've known about this for a good minute and like it was paining me. It was paining me not to talk about it because like every bone in my body is like, tell him, tell him, tell him, but I couldn't, I couldn't, but now I can. So guys, this right here is already gonna create a whole new way to move through the world. Like I can already tell right now, if you guys remember back when scooter boop and like speed gliding and whatever else was a thing, you guys remember how fast people went and developed so many other methods to like whether it be gliding or whatever else. Like there was so many different ways that people figured out to maneuver around the land. And now the game has added a way to fling yourself around the map, which is now going to create a whole new movement system within the game. And I'm sure there's going to be people that are basically creating new ways to like scooter boop within the game, dude. Like this alone adds so much to the game. I could go and grab the ground and launch myself up to go and get to these other areas compared to just jumping. Because like my regular jump, if I just tap it, you'll notice I only go this high. But if I hold it, I can get about to this distance. But if I go for a ground launch, I can now get to the top of these other objects using that momentum. Like that is so freaking cool, dude. I gotta see if I can actually get like a little side, uh, a side toss. Oh, there we go, dude. Yes. Oh, that feels so freaking good. Yes! Thank you for adding this into the game. This is just freaking awesome. Like, I, I can already tell how much this is going to change the way people play Zenith. Like, oh, I'm so excited. Please don't patch it. This is going to be the whole new way to go and actually climb a lot of these structures within the land, man. Because, like, if you guys recall, going and climbing, like, a big rock like this where you had to just, like, continuously go and, like, climb up every single time, it makes your arms, like, really tired really quickly. And now that we can just grab this and go and launch, that's already gonna help so much more just for getting through this. Like if I wanted to get to the top of this branch, right? Let's say if I wanted to go and jump up to this, I can just grab this rock and boom, now I'm up. Like that alone is already so much more helpful and something that I didn't really think we needed in Zenith, but truly like it's gonna be incredibly impactful for like the future of like how you do things within this game. Like going and like doing climbing quests where you have to go to the top of the mountain or if there's like a super dire moment where enemies are chasing you and you have to dodge out of it really quick. Like this is gonna be a new mechanic that a lot of people probably develop on and learn completely new things within the game. So my thoughts on the climbing update and the combat mechanics, you got a huge thumbs up for me, man. This is huge. The physics, the combat mechanics, the new dashing back and forth, like, <sighs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now to probably the biggest news of this entire video. And what that is, is the fact that Zenith is now currently on the PlayStation VR 2. So if you're one of like the new fresh time buyers that went and got a PS5, got a PSVR 2 and are looking for a new experience to play, I'm telling you right now, if you want that MMO experience, you gotta come hop in and join the community with Zenith because like, it just... It is so awesome, and it, it hasn't changed since Alpha. Like, seriously, the community has been so tight-knit, and it's probably one of the most, like, wholesome communities I've been a part of within VR. Like, don't get me wrong, there are so many VR titles out there, and I'm sure there's some really tight-knit communities as well, but I feel like from firsthand, from what I've actually, like, experienced and developed along, like, throughout all the time i played in Zenith, the community is just so darn cool, man. Like, there are some really awesome people, and, like, if you just go out of your little social bubble and try to meet some new people, man, like, Zenith is truly one of those experiences that you'll never forget. But instead of just talking about the social aspects of this game, let's talk about a few of the new things that are gonna be coming to Zenith. And what that is gonna be are the new life skills. You're in big trouble, mister! You're in big trouble. You need to stop being depressed, okay? 
You need to stop being depressed, be a happy little Wyveria. This could possibly be the biggest update that we have ever seen within Zenith. There's obviously stuff that I cannot mention within this video, but trust me, you guys are going to want to get excited for what's coming because seriously, it is going to be game-changing for what's going to come for the future of this title. I mean, and one of those big things is going to be the Cyber Ninja, and another, obviously, is got to be the life skills. So when I actually go and select with Trigger here, you guys can see that we got a little mining axe, we also got a chopping axe, and then we also got a little shovel, so we can do some digging. As for this video, I won't be able to actually go and show these things to the true potential, just because in the current build, it actually doesn't have the uh, the mining materials, the trees, or any of the spots to actually dig. But in a past build that I actually did, which I can't share, this right here was very intuitive. I love the fact that they're going to be adding life skills within the game where we can go around the map and mine other materials and hopefully use that for like other things that we intend to do like within the game, like whether it be like getting more, you know, wood to go and craft another piece of armor or possibly going and like mining some ore and potentially getting like a rare mineral or something like that. Like just the ideas of life skills are so fascinating to me. And like the fact I can literally just be like walking around in the world of Zenith and just seeing someone as a lumberjack just go in and chopping at a freaking tree, dude. Like that's just so cool to me. And obviously enough, like these trees aren't the ones that are going to be used in the build. So obviously there's not going to be any response with this. But from what I've seen and what I've actually played with, um, there's actually like little hit points that will actually pop up on here and it'll actually judge based on the momentum of how you hit the trees or even like, you know, the rock when you're trying to mine ore and whatever else. It'll tell you if you got a poor hit, a perfect hit, good hit, whatever else. And it's just, I don't know, it's a cool little side hustle to go and do compared to just going and like killing mobs. You can actually go and do like, you know, laborous deeds and go and, you know, put your physical body to labor in a virtual environment. I mean, that's, that's been the dream for all of us, right? But no, I think overall the whole idea of life skills is truly something that's just, it, it's really helpful for the world building of adding to this MMO. You know, like, don't get me wrong, you know, the landscape, the environment, and you know, just what the Zenith puts you in is already incredible. But when you go and add little things like this, like it's just gonna add so much more to see like other players just doing these like little side things. It just adds to the world. Like when they added the pets, like that already added so much more to like filling the gap of like what was so open in this world and then adding those pets and having like the new bosses and you know, now the new life skills and I don't know, man. It's just, it's so much to take in and I can't wait for you guys to actually go and experience this yourselves once the update actually goes live. As for the date that this update is going live, it's still uncertain. Like, I don't have a, uh, like, set in stone date yet, but if I ever hear any news, I'll be sure to let you guys know firsthand here on the channel. On top of all these updates, I'm sure a lot of you guys are anxious to hear more about the Cyber Ninja class that is going to be coming to Zenith. And what I have to say is that the idea of it is super cool, and I am so excited to actually go and, like, play through the story on a new character that isn't just a Blade Master or just, uh, just a Mage class, because, like, I've already experienced those, like, a handful of times, like, throughout the alphas and betas, and, like, don't get me wrong, I love the classes, but this is just something that's gonna be new, something that's fresh, and something that's, like, a new way to go and, like, start the world of Zenith again. Because as of lately, my biggest grind has just been, you know, going to raids and, you know, trying to grind up my gear and get this to, like, the max level and try to get, like, the best drops possible. And, you know, I've been doing that for months and months and months. And now it just feels like once the Cyber Ninja drops, it gives me a whole new reason to go and play through the story again and, like, try to grind that thing to level 40. Because I guarantee you, when that Cyber Ninja drops, first night, that thing is getting maxed out to 40. I don't care what it takes, bro, but I am going to utilize as much XP as possible on that bad boy. I want to see what that thing is capable of. And just to let you guys know firsthand, I have tried out the Cyber Ninja, and I do have some opinions on it, on, like, what I believe should be fixed, like, for the actual release and whatever else. But as for the moment, like, the build of it is really cool. Like, the idea and concept of a Cyber Ninja, basically having, like, bow gameplay... Is something that I've wanted in Zenith, like, literally since launch. Like, I, I have been begging. Like, I'm not kidding you. I have been begging to see more bow stuff, like, put into VR games. Like, I freaking love anything that just involves a drawback bow. Like, it's so satisfying. I don't know what it is about being able to go and, like, just pull back a bow and feel that response when you go and, like, shoot an enemy with that thing. It's just, it feels cool. Like... You know, the blasters, they're alright, man, but there's nothing against, like, nothing can go and get paired up against a freaking drawback bow. There's just something, like, that feels so awesome when you're the person that can actually drag that arrow back and just, like, long shot some at, like, that precision. Like, it is just so 
satisfying. But now, let's actually talk about the Cyber Ninja. How does it feel? Like, how does the character actually feel and play within the game? Well, from my personal opinion, I feel like there's a few things that definitely do need changing, and what that would be would be the actual drawback distance. I feel like every time that I draw back the bow, it like stops about here, like pretend this hand is uh, the actual bow, and when I pull back the string, it stops about here. Pretend for a moment that this is your bow. So when you go and pull back your bow here and the string goes back, about right here is where the string actually stops. So your hand can go all the way back, but still it's going to be stuck right here and it won't get drawn back anymore. Which, in my opinion, it just kind of makes it feel like a kitty bow. You know, like something that you get from like Nerf. Like, it just doesn't feel like it's got enough of that, that pullback, you know, realistic approach to it. You know, especially with VR, like that's very immersion breaking. Especially when I'm pulling my hand all the way back and there's like no restrain from it. Like, my hand can still go and wander and do whatever while the arrow and the string are still stuck here. It just feels a little bit, um... It just feels like it's not all the way there. So if there's any way that they can actually balance out that string drawback, or possibly even have your hand stay to that string, compared to being able to go freely everywhere else, I feel like that would just add a lot more to the aesthetic, and also the experience of using the bow. But now one of the things that they did right with this thing, and that's gotta be the abilities, man. I'm not gonna go into detail of like what the actual abilities are, but the way you switch them is really cool. So like depending on the orientation of how you're holding the bow, so like let's pretend that this is my bow here, right? So if I'm holding this like forward, if I'm holding it like this, this is gonna be my normal shot. But if I switch to a horizontal angle, and I press a certain button, that will activate the ultimate mode, and then you can pull it back and use your ultimate that way. So depending on the orientation of your weapon, that's going to be the way that you can actually select the different spells or abilities that you use with the weapon. It is freaking sick. It's a really fresh take on their gesture-based spell casting, because don't get me wrong, I love the gesture-based stuff. Like, it feels awesome to go and swipe my hand to the left and be able to cast this fire like just right beneath my feet but on top of it with the bow thing man to be able to go and switch between your modes just by the orientation of it and like whatever else like i feel like they did that really well like that was something that was really really solid and i'm sure another question you guys are probably asking is what's the damage like like is it gonna be op is it gonna be broken and i'm gonna be straight up I mean, anything that's new added to a game, it's either going to be, like, nerfed to the absolute max, or it's going to be completely busted. So, I'm, pro I'm probably going to be on the side that it's going to be busted, but it'll probably get patched eventually, depending on, like, how the balance actually plays into the game. Especially if, like, PvP's on the radar or whatever else, like, if that is somewhere even in the nearest of futures... Um, PvP and having imbalanced classes is definitely going to be something that they got to keep an eye on because that's probably the hardest thing, especially when it comes down to, you know, developing an MMO, especially with that factor in mind is not making, like, certain classes blatantly overpowered. And it's like, how do you really find that out until the community basically finds the metas? But overall, what's my opinion of the update? And am I excited? Am I happy? Absolutely. This is something that I've been wanting for Zenith for so long. I have been like looking forward to an update to this degree like literally since launch because when it felt like from the beta jump into the launch period it just felt like there wasn't a lot of change that I saw from beta 2 to launch but like this update literally feels like that that huge segment from when I was doing alpha testing back in like alpha 1 and alpha 2 and then jumping to beta for the first time that's exactly what this feels like and that's a good thing because what that says to me is that there's a lot of groundwork that's being laid out. There's a ton of new features that are going to be added. They're reworking upon, like, the existing combat mechanics and whatever else to make them better. And also just feel a lot, like, a lot more immersive. Like, it, it's just such a plain-as-day update that just tells you, this is it. Like, this is the step in the right direction. And I felt like I was getting lost for a moment here. Like I was like, man, we're really just not seeing many updates from the game. But when I saw this and I hopped in for the first time and tried out these features, I'm not kidding you guys. It's, it's awesome. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna make it for this video. If you did end up enjoying it, would like to see more content made on Zenith, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. And also on top of that, if this is a type of style of video that you guys want to see more on the channel, especially when it comes down to like Zenith updates and such, I am more than open to doing more content like this because I feel like, especially with the series, after season two, I was happy with where that ended. And I've been doing a lot of thinking recently, especially with like my recent episodes and such, where I think I'm just going to change the direction of where 
I really want my Zenith videos to go. Like the series, I'm happy with where it is. And I really don't want to, you know, paint more to the picture when I already feel like it's finished. And that's probably why, like, some of you guys out there, if you've been watching the series, you just saw those episodes pop out of the playlist. You're like, wait, what? Like, what happened to the series episodes? I just, I had to make a call where I really just wanted to take a step back and realize, like, where the series was going. And I just felt like I didn't have the direction to really keep that storytelling of what, like, the love of Alpha 1 and Alpha 2 were. Like, I just, I didn't have that same, that same vision. And I didn't want to just go and drag it on for the sake of dragging it on. I wanted to make a series that was truly something very, very important to me and something that, you know, a lot of people would get invested into and really enjoy themselves, you know? So if you guys are wondering, um, as for Zenith episodes, I don't plan on continuing the series for a while. And now on to probably the biggest news of this entire video. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably already kind of like picking up on this from like my recent uploads and whatever else. Like the Zenith series hasn't been really in my lineup for recent videos and the biggest reason why is like I've been trying to decide between if I wanted to continue the series or cut it off where it was and truthfully it's been like a long decision like it's been over the course of like six months like I've only released so many episodes since launch and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already saw that where like the upload schedule for those episodes was just like slowly dwindling to the point where I really wasn't uploading many of them and I just want to be straight up I want to be honest and I want to just be as clear as possible like, I still love Zenith, I still play it, but the problem is, is like, I just don't know where to take the story with the series, and I don't want to just drag it on for the sake of dragging it on. So, for this video, this is going to be the confirmation of the end of the Zenith VR series. I may go and put together, like, a collage of, like, the best moments that I had within, you know, Zenith leading up to this point, but as for, you know, continuing this series for, like, storytelling, whatever else, this is my official announcement that the series is done. And I am so happy for all the people that came, like, along the journey that I met through Zenith and, you know, just, just met on YouTube and, like, watched these premieres together and whatever else. Like it, truth, like, it truthfully meant a lot to me. This is, like, one of my favorite series I've made on the channel, you know? And it, it's with a heavy heart to say something like this, but I, I just don't want to drag on something for the sake of dragging it on. I want to make sure that that series was like my nurtured kid you know like that was that was my baby you know like there's there's no other way to put it like that was my passion project like literally for the entire year of uploading of uh zenith content i didn't make like a single cent i'm sure a lot of you guys are probably like wait what like you know whatever else like why is money involved it's just to help prove to you guys like it was a passion project like i literally did that out of the love of of loving Zenith and out of the love of creating that series. And I just feel like where I left it in season two is where I want it to end. Like that was just the perfect cap to everything. Like just before the launch, like it led up to everything. Like I just, I love the way it was built up and I love just how the story was told throughout that. And the biggest thing is, is I just, I don't want to taint what was there. Like that was its own story. And like, I'm ready to move on. And like, that is just left in history. You know, like you can go and watch that series whenever you want. And like, it's there, you know, like the entire story of like how Armageddon was created and all the people that we met along the way and whatever else. And like seeing the world of Zenith being built throughout that series, it was so cool. But you know, that's, you know, it happened. And like, we should be happy that it happened. Like, don't be sad that the series is over, but just know that this is like the next chapter of my channel moving forward. And like, you know, hopefully there'll be some other bigger projects that come along as well. Like, I'm super excited for like the, the roadmap of 2023. Like, this doesn't mean it's like the end of Zenith completely. This is just in terms of putting a cap to that series. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in this video. If you did end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on Zenith, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all the VR content we post. But other than that, guys, as always, keep it toasting, my friends. Later. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, right no, here. No! <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!